Do you want to learn how to do a back bend and lay back correctly, preventing any kind of possible injury? Please stay with me because this video is for you. Hello, my name is Taiga Palma from dancepandemic.com and as I told you before, I'm gonna teach you how to prevent injuries when it comes to do laybacks or backbends. So, first of all, you need to take it easy. That's the clue. So you have to take your time to give your time to your joints, your muscles and your body in general to be able to do this kind of exercises. This is not an easy thing to and do it's a, and it's a thing that could potentially harm you. So the two key points to protect here are your knees and your lower back. Um, I would suggest you to work on your uh, quadriceps muscles and on your glutes muscles with the chair posture from yoga. This way you are also gonna work on the alignment between your knees and your feet. That's a very important thing to work on, especially when you're gonna go down, because this is a very common mistake, that your feet are looking to one place, your knee is looking to a different place. This could potentially harm your ligaments in your knees. You don't want that to happen. So one way to work on this alignment is to properly work on the chair pose. Please visit my blog because you're gonna find some links, some useful links there on how to work on the alignment. You can also work, uh, if you have done ballet you will know this, it's uh, the plie in second positions. Okay, so it will be this, making sure that you are pushing back with your knees, so your knees and your feet are looking to the same place. Another thing to work on would be the flexibility of your quadriceps at the same time you work on strengthening them. So the posture to do that would be this one. You're gonna pay attention and keep your knee at the front always just on top of your heel, never go f any further forward with it. And you're gonna keep as much weight as you can on your back uh, leg. You want to keep as well your hip as neutral as possible. I'm gonna Please, if you are on YouTube, go to my website, uh, check the link below because I'm gonna put a lot, like a ton of links that you can uh, um, consult to check how to properly this, uh, do these kind of exercises. So remember the pelvis and now you want to keep as much weight as you can in the back leg and you are pushing with your back leg towards the front as if you were wanting to do this movement, but you're gonna stay there and you're gonna go down with it with this leg. So with these exercises, you're gonna actually work on the flexibility and then and the strength of your thighs at the same time. That's gonna be very useful. I would say even crucial to your uh, lay back. And when it comes to protect your lower back and to work on your lower back. There are two uh, key points. Your abdominal muscles, especially the lower abdominal muscles, strength, and your glutes, strength, as well as your posture when you do the back bend. I mean, you can work on your lower abdominal muscles with many other exercises, but you're gonna work on them with this posture as well. So you want you want the extension of your spine to happen from your upper body. You want your spine to go as up as you can. So you are not, make sure you are not smashing your lower back. You are not pushing your lower back like pushing your discs or smashing your discs. You don't want that to happen. So always from your chest up and back. Pay attention, notice how I'm using, how I'm curving the whole body. I'm trying not to go forward with my weight. I keep my weight on the heels as much as I can. And I raise my chest as much as I can 
to give the impression that I'm going back. So if you do this posture properly, you're gonna start feeling straight away your abdominal muscles working and supporting your posture as well as the thighs here. Everything is working as a chain, okay? So just keep this posture for a while. Try to raise even more your chest. You're gonna start feeling your abdominal muscles working harder. Go a little bit higher. You can go down with your knees if you can, okay? That will be one point, then your glutes you can develop them with a chair pose, as I said before, and with these uh, typical glutes exercises. For example, <coughs> lying on the floor like this, and going up and down with your glutes. And while you are up, you can open and close your legs. Okay, so, and, the last thing you need to work on, or while you work on the rest of the things, would be the flexibility you are going to need to keep the final posture, to maintain the final posture, which is something like this. It depends on the person. Some people go with their feet out. So you certainly need a lot of flexibility on your thighs but also, as I told you before, you need strength on them because when you are coming down, you're going to stop that falling with your, uh, with your thighs. You don't, want that. you don't want to stop them with your knees or with your joints, okay? So, you have to develop the flexibility on this posture. If you don't get to this point yet, please don't do the lay back. You can work on the flexibility keeping one leg straight, going with the other leg back, with the other leg back, and going back with your chest, pushing forward with your hip, feeling this muscle stretching. You can come closer or a little bit opener with your uh, lower leg. This is one way. Then you can work as well in your hip mobility, like in this posture. So you would go up and down, as you can see, there are many exercises you need, you really need to practice, you really need to work on um, before even trying the lay back, okay? And you can, from this posture, also go back, take your time, no rush. And when I say take your time, I mean one month, two months, as long as you need to. You can go all the way down, you can keep on working, on the flexibility even if you are all the way down here pushing with your hip up keeping your spine as straight as you can trying playing on how would you come back up from this posture if you are going to need to change your legs before coming up well, yeah. another important point to finish with is that you have to bear in mind also your toes because there are basically two ways to go all the way down. Way number one would be if you are going down and you keep your knees and your feet pointing at the same direction in a parallel posture, so you would go through the ball of your feet like this. This would be the safer one, but it's also the most difficult one. And number two would be keeping your feet open a little bit and going forward so this is the most common one because it's the easiest one but it's also the most dangerous one so it would be like this you're gonna go if you do this way you're gonna go through your big toe through the side of your big toe okay and this could be very helpful for your uh, knees ligaments so before doing that second way of going down please make sure that you are strong as a superwoman. So the laid back is not only a matter of dropping your body, it's also a matter of controlling. I'm just remembering, while I do this video, I'm just remembering I saw a performance in London where I live right now a few months ago and I remember one of the dancers uh, who made one of these uh, laid backs, back bends, and oh my god she hit 
the floor with her head like very badly we could on the first three rows we could clearly hear her her head I'm so sorry about her and I'm pretty sure that she knew how to do the layback but you know as things happen in life uh, well maybe perhaps she lost a little bit of control or I don't know or she was nervous you never know but please 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 be, be very careful because I want you to dance for your whole life and if you have found this video useful if you liked it please thumbs up in YouTube subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to my website following the link below dancepandemic.com and subscribe to my newsletter because I share things in my emails that you won't find anywhere else. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Mwah.